now set to for the visitor economy, and we need to bring forward projects in the coming weeks and months that take advantage of the tourism opportunities that we've got here in the world and enables us enable us to build on the jobs and the investment that tourism and the visitor economy brings in. I mean, Adrian mentioned the things like the Three Queens event, which was a huge success for Wirral and Merseyside, and that just shows so just shows you what we can do. You know, we know about the open golf; it's it's generating massive economic benefits to us. So we we, we this plan, I think, um, gives us a platform to build on the importance of the visitor economy, which is now worth in Wirral some three hundred and fifty million pounds. So it's a massive, massive. Um, economic driver for us employs about 4,000 people. Um, so that's all within Chris's um, remit. So thank you to cabinet members for just giving us some of the kind of headlines from the plan. I think I want to finish off with, with Eric. Eric, when you came uh, to us, you, the kind of challenge you gave me was um, can the leadership please be clear about the kind of direction, the vision, um, the ambition for this council, this place? Um, I'm hoping that the, the, this plan does give that, um, that roadmap, if you like, of where we want to get to. I think the challenge now is, and hopefully when it gets green on the 13th of July, the challenge now is to deliver um, all of this stuff. And clearly, you know, you as Chief Executive, the officers are going to be absolutely essential to helping us deliver this. So I wonder if you want to say a little bit just about the kind of next phase of this. Uh, Okay, thanks, Bill. Um, I think you, you have clearly met that challenge in terms of providing a clear outline of what we need to achieve over the next five years. Um, I think it's clear in the sense of uh, a, a very strong set of unequivocal priorities and ambitions that we as officers and that indeed the whole organisation that supports the Cabinet and Council uh, will need to organise ourselves in a way in particular. Uh, you've talked about the last three years, 2012 to 2015, where there's quite clearly been a step change in the way the council is, is run. And um, it, it's clearly in a very, very different place than it was. Um, I think in 2020, it will be in a vastly different place to how it is in 2015. Um, and 2012 will look an enormously long way away from where we will be. Um, it's, a, it's very much um, an outcome focused, an outward looking set of ambitions. And it's clear that the council can't work in an insular way to deliver. We have to engage fully with our residents. And we have to get our residents on side in terms of how we want to move things forward. We have to work with our, our partners in a different way, including business as well as the NHS as well as other key parts around the table. Because we can't achieve, I don't think there's any one of these outcomes we can achieve alone. We have to work with us to make that happen. Um, and so we need to do work on the city region basis. We need to talk about DO scales. We have to do more work on constituency basis. And we have to do more work very much uh, on with individuals and communities. And I'm particularly being impressed in my three months here, about the energy that residents and communities have for making a difference to their own lives. And we need to build on that asset in, in order to move things forward. In, in terms of practical steps, um, we will be producing a set of 20 strategies and plans to provide the detail underneath each one of these priorities. And we'll be doing that between now and this. So that cabinet will have a chance to examine each of those strategies um, and agree how we, how we take those to here. Uh, and we'll also need to look at the way we organise ourselves as a council and I think be much more integrated with our partners in terms of how we move things forward. Great, okay, well thanks for that Eric. Uh, thanks for those comments uh, and that's, um, that's a really important next stage in this process. But more, more immediately, um, we need to, tonight at the cabinets, uh, and I'm kind of turning to the recommendations in the current report. So um, I'm, going to, um, I'm going to thank everyone for their contributions tonight. Um, thank you for being
being so succinct. Um, and uh, and um, to ask Cabinet, uh, can we approve the contents of this Royal Council plan uh, as provided in the appendix to this report? And then we need to refer this on to the policy meeting of full council next Monday night uh, for full approval. Um, so that's the recommendation. Uh, is that second? Second. Okay. Is that agreed, Cabinet? Agreed. Okay. That's fine. So that's, um, that's thank you very much for that. Uh, so that's the only business tonight. I've not been informed of any other uh, business. So can I thank everybody for their attendance and close meeting? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.